Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. Today we're going to be showing what's in a cabin crew um, bag. First, what's in a pilot's bag? Welcome back to this week's vlog, friends. As you can tell by the intro that Em has done amazingly at, I have nothing else to say. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Nick Priest. I'm currently a first officer on the Airbus 320, and this is my hot wife. So back off if you have any ideas. So as you can see, married. My name is Emily Priest, and I'm cabin crew on the 737, and I do domestic. So we thought we'd do like one for one here. So I'll show one thing in my bag and then we'll show one thing in her bag. Just kind of, I don't know, keep it interesting, I guess. I wanted to know what you guys had in your bag. But I still don't even know what's in her bag. So I'm gonna find out just along with you guys. I have two bags. This one is if I do like a four day trip or a big trip, cause you can fit a lot more in it, obviously. And this one is for every day that I take. Start with this one. I just have one bag. This is the same bag I've had since I started flying my company. It is getting a bit worn, like the zip here is kind of a bit broken. So I actually am looking for a new bag. This is the current situation. So the bag itself has like two pockets at the front and then one main compartment. This was awesome, like when I was doing a lot of, well yeah, basically all I did was international trips because the handle from like your overnight bag, because obviously this is just your pilot bag. Then if we do a trip, we have the actual overnight suitcase, which has a little clothes and stuff in it. If you'd like us to do a video on that, Give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, which was awesome for that. So obviously I still do like a trip here and there now, but really it's just day trips, just domestic stuff mainly. So first thing in my pilot bag, which is the most important, is my iPad or the EFB, which is the electronic flight bag. It basically has everything that we use day to day on here. Basically we go into the crew and we sign on and then we download our electronic flight plans from an app onto our iPad here. And then that's where we get the day started. So it's got everything on here, our company emails, difference on the A320 to the 787. We're actually the load controller. So we have an app on here as well for weight and balance. We put in how many passengers we have, bags, what positions are in, everything like that. Cause it's the weight and balance for the aircraft, takeoff and landing performance data. Obviously our JEPs, which are our approach plates and everything for all the airports we go to. Basically, Everything is on here, as well as your FCOM, which is your flight crew operating manual, your company, uh, your flight crew training manual, basically just everything you need is on here. Do you have a charger with you? Yes, that's do something you, else in my pilot bag. Do you take a charger? We have to carry our charger with us. This special case that is on our iPad has like a clip because we clip that into on our side, like out of the way from us being able to visually see what's going on at the front. And yeah, that's where we have our approach plates and everything like that. And we need it. And our charger will reach from where we plug it in down the bottom on my side, bottom right, to obviously charge it. This is what I have in my bag. This way. So this is my bag if I do trips, like I said before. It's got a mirror here. I think this is called a beauty case. So a mirror for touching up. Just one zip in there. And I don't really have anything in here because I keep it in the other one. But I do have just a little bag. That's it from there. And then in the... Side pocket, I have alfoil. I have alfoil. When I take my food, I want to heat it up, but I don't want it to burn. So I just put the alfoil over the top before it goes in the oven. Some headphones, this little clip. I've never used this. This is apparently, I think, to go on your scarf, to make your scarf not swing around. I think, I don't know, I haven't used it. This little perfume stick thing. So that's in the side pocket. And then in this one, I usually just take what's in my normal everyday one and put it in here if I'm doing a trip, but if I forget, then this is what this is for. So in here I've got another pen, hand sanitizer. It's important right now. It is. Some lavender oil. I usually, I can't know. I used to put this on like a tissue or whatever and put it in my room because it's like, it's coming. Helps you sleep. We have to carry a torch. When you do your security checks, you have to use a torch to look into all the trays, the oven trays and stuff. Panadol, a little makeup brush for touching up. Wow. Some more pens. What a world we live in. Lip liner, some earplugs, because the hotels are noisy. Some setting spray, makeup setting spray. A little spoolie. So that's what I take if I forget to pack my day trip bag for it overnight. So this, I obviously haven't touched in. A long time so that's why this is just kept in here because i don't really use it i use it out the back so that's that bag big difference as you may have noticed here this is actually a company provided bag yeah pilot center of the company provided bag back to the front pockets of this i really don't keep much in here anymore right now my stuff is in here i do because obviously we carry a pen i have my main pen in here and then i have like a second pen in case and then in the front pocket here a similar pen i have a torch except mine is bigger because when we go to the walk around at night obviously we have to be able to see everything 
on the aircraft. So this is my second bag. This is what I use every single day. So this is my main bag. Um, it's got some little pink epaulets there, and this one has two compartments. So the top part is stuff that I need to access easily. Em needs to put the uh, new epaulets on in there. Yeah, I do. So I've got some new epaulets. These are the new. Um, these were the old ones. This one has a moustache in it with the breast cancer awareness. So that one's good and it's the three bars. So there's that. Got some hand sanitizer spray. This is stuff that I just need quickly. Some pens for when we do our briefings. Some lipstick, lip balm, some mints. You never have too many mints when you're a customer facing role. A wrist strap. So because I've got tennis elbow and fluid in my wrist, I wear this when I'm at work pouring tea and coffee or doing the lockers. And then a... Oh, there's your specky. Oh, God. <laughs> and then just a high-vis vest for when we do the walk around. No jokes. <laughs> when we do walking across the tarmac. Then we go to the main compartment, similar to M actually. I have a high-vis vest, obviously, as well, when we walk across the tarmac. We don't have an aero bridge. Um, also wear that when we're doing the walk around. And then sunglasses, which are not in the case, so that's great by me. Depending on like the trip, I have noise cancelling headphones in here. International that like came in handy a lot more. Obviously flying domestic. If I'm on an overnight and I go to the gym or something, I still prefer to use AirPods in the gym as opposed to noise cancelling headphones. I also have blue light lens blocking glasses in here. I don't wear them all the time, but sometimes I do. In the main part of my bag, there is supposed to be a mirror here, but I don't know where it is. I think it broke. So... Why don't the mirror from there? Oh, I should. In here, I just have like a food esky, which is empty, but I put my food in there and a little ice block and then food and then just this little case. But then on top of that, I just put my apron. So we have to have an apron um, when we're serving. I have this little case, but next to that is just some antibacterial wipes. Then back to this, I actually do have an insert in the bag here. It's kind of hard to see, but then it just has like more separate compartments because if you took this out, I'm not promoting this bag by the way. It's just one big opening in here. So this helps you organize a little bit better, even though M probably right now would say my bag is still not very organized. Then obviously we carry our license with us. We have to buy CASA regulations, carry our flight crew license. I do have the A320 type rating, the 787 command type rating, and the 777 type rating as well. The 777 and the 787 are a common endorsement, which is why I have that. We can only be current on one aircraft endorsement at a time. So obviously for me right now, it's A320. Then we also keep a record in here of our pilot proficiency check record. Which every time we do a sim, which we have to do a sim every six months, that gets signed off. And then obviously our medical certificate in here as well. So we have to hold a class on medical to fly. And then I have my passport. We have to obviously carry that with us as well if we ever get pulled out on a overnight, a more international trip, I should say. I don't have a little divider like you, so that's why I got this little case. And I put my little lunch bag in there because otherwise my lunch was just getting on everything and then, yeah, it was just annoying. So I have this little case and I've had this forever. So in here I have some Barocca. Nick should have some in his bag because I usually make you, you take should. it. I don't know if you do, but there should be some in his. So I usually have this every time I fly. Some lip gloss. It's got a little mirror on it too. Yeah. So when I'm in my jumpsuit, I can just touch up before you touch down, my friends. What a world we live in. Uh, is, that, is that a little cabin crew slogan? Yeah. Touch up before you touch down. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Hand cream, some hand sanitizer, and then I've got some face hydra mist. So touch up before you touch down. <laughs> um, what a great slogan. You hydrate it and keeps your makeup stay in place. Some little roll on perfume. I usually do that when I touch up before I touch down. It smells nice. Some red lipstick. Two lots of lipstick. Because sometimes I wear what I'm wearing now, and then other times I feel like wearing red. So yeah, I have both of them. Options. And then I have my little pink cutlery. Yeah, because I just like to reuse the cutlery rather than wasting cutlery on board. I've got some Voltaren because of my wrist and elbow. Some more pens. And there's a lot of pens. Some more lipstick. And more lipstick. And that's it. In that little section. So I only have one hand sanitizer, and I only started carrying that since Corona kind of started happening. But I also have some sunscreen in here because we're up the front. Obviously, like the windows are obviously always open. You should always. I want to get skincare. So. Wear sunscreen if you're a pilot. And then I have like an international wallet. I always keep in my pilot bag. This has like an international debit card, like the best exchange rates and stuff. So if you end up overseas and you don't have cash on you to then convert or anything like that, I find that's the best option and the best exchange rates. 
everyone has a calculator on their phone or iPad or anything, but I still keep a old school calculator just in case. I also have earplugs in here as well. The aircraft do have like those earmuffs to put over your head, over your ears, <laughs> your head, but just in case. And if I end up on an overnight and yeah, the hotel room is noisy, I'm trying to sleep I'm at an odd time during the day with shift work. And then I have this little bit, which has, you'll never believe it. You will never believe this, like, my friend. Black hole in you, there's a lot coming out there. Some more alpha, some more Panadol, some more strepsils. A little note from Nick that you left on my lunch. I said 63 days until you're my wife. Another note from Nick. Oh. My passport with another note from Nick. <laughs> yeah, we always have to carry our passport as well, even though I'm domestic, we can get called out or sent mm. the Bali flight or New Zealand. Some headphones and that's it. That's my bag. And then yeah, the last things I have in here is Tic Tacs. Similar to M, I have the, I like the cutlery pack. Mine's obviously blue. Reuse this, uh, save some plastic and stuff instead of using the ones on board. And I have some antibacterial wipes as well. This is a new addition since Krona. There are some in the aircraft as well. Uh, which we use, this is just kind of a backup, um, obviously to wipe down like the cockpit and stuff from the previous crew, because you know, you never know. That's basically what's in our bags. I did do one of these videos, like what's in my pilot bag, like early on when I kind of started YouTube. So I just thought we'd do an updated one for 2020, plus obviously showing you what's in cabin crew bag. But anyway, yeah, that's what's in our bags. So thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next week. We do have some video ideas already, but uh, comment down below. So if you are new here and you made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching all the way to the end. And if you aren't already, hit that subscribe button. You'll be the first to be notified when a new video does come out. Good news here in Australia. Looks like we might be back flying soon. Currently, it's the 9th of May. So I might actually be flying in June again, which is good. So I hope you guys are all keeping well and keeping safe. Look after yourselves. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next week. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.